Barely news. More happy. Barely news. But this is a this is a whale though. Welcome to the Loot Drive. I've been playing a bunch of Midnight Fight Express lately, and it's really scratching that fight 'em up, beat 'em up itch that Sifu left behind. So I've been loving it. But uh, is anyone else playing games lately? Or I have been shockingly playing Modern Warfare 2 too. Modern Warfare 2. Who would have expected this guy hey, <laughs> to be playing Modern Warfare 2 too? The new Modern Warfare. The new Modern two. Warfare 2 too. What yeah. do you like about it? I'm just playing a lot of like just straight up multiplayer. I was playing DMZ for a bit, but mm. I find it too stressful to play because it's all like tense and and I'm bad at it. Mm. And but I can play that like real fast paced turn turn your brain off like multiplayer because it's just you know very relaxing for me. I find. Turn your brain off. What what do you have to turn off? Okay, all right, very good. I knew you were going to say that, and I was like, why 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 would I open myself up to that? You deserve it. Yeah, now you yeah. are wearing this jacket. You feeling a bit cold lately? It's getting colder. It's getting colder, it's and getting I'm, cold. I'm enjoying. The, I love the cold weather. It's like yeah. my favorite time of year. I love do it. you now? Oh, me God. too. Also, hi. I'm gonna go, I'll go over. Out there. of my shot. Okay, Thank you. Sorry. I know all my intro has been very loud and aggressive. I'm sorry, but I'm not that sorry. Hello. Hi. Cold weather. Let's yes, talk about cold it. weather. It is my favorite climate for gaming for mm. three very important reasons. Number one, most important, being you don't sweat, which sucks. Number two, my PC won't explode. And number three. Cozy games. Yeah, do you know what? Your PC and I have a lot in common oh. in that we have an optimal temperature and mine <laughs> lies in between, brrr, it's cold and I can't even feel my face. I thrive in the cool. See, that's why we're friends. We're two mm. little cold boys. Mm -hmm. But let me paint you a picture on why I love cozy games so much mm. and why it relates specifically okay, to the let cold. Me, let me just... <clears throat> let set the scene. <clears throat> you wake up on a crisp weekend morning. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you've just woken from a terrible nightmare! That's how I wake every morning. There's rain peppering on the window, like those ASMR videos we all pretend we don't listen to, but we totally do. Or the teppanyaki chef. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, exactly, exactly. That's the vibe of a cozy game for me. Oh my God. Right, I know, it's good, hey? I was there. Thank you, we really set the scene I was today! I hear the birds, caca, caca. And I was like, this is peaceful. It's like the kookaburras of every Australian morning. Yeah, yeah. So so these cozy games aren't a hard and fast genre, right? Like no, it's not no. like FPS or whatever. But what makes a cozy game cozy? In my mind, a cozy game is a game that focuses on like pleasing aesthetics and visuals mm. and like simplistic systems to make you feel relaxed. Right. That's cozy game. And does it like do they romanticize certain bits of your life? That's exactly yeah. that's exactly that's that's perfect wording. They romanticize living. But don't most games romanticize like parts of, like you know that they, they Call of Duty apparently is the cozy game because it really romanticizes <laughs> dance life. shooting guns. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, look, yes, strictly speaking, yeah, no, I reckon that's true. But I think cozy games specifically hone in on romanticizing the boring aspects of life. Oh, like paying off a house loan, redecorating things, yeah, that's paying right. off a bank notice to a tanuki. Hey, 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 did you guys know like oh, Isabel, what? Isabel, Isabel from Isabel, oh. Isabel from Animal. You just keep saying the same thing. Isabel, Isabel. Isabel. Wait, yes. wait, 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 Cozy games. Yes, like, so we've recovered from that. It's chill, it's cool, you get to do your chores. I get it, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But for me, the big draw of a game, which is why I like things like Midnight Fight Express, is mm -hmm. conflict. Like yeah. combat is just a way to address conflict. But for a cozy game, what's the draw there? A lot of it, I find, is like personally generated conflict. Like unpacking, like super yeah. cozy, casual, Aussie made indie game, wonderful, please play if you haven't already. But the idea is like, it's the joy of unpacking things and putting them in a nice space and like curating your experience. I freak out over like, and there's footage of our past streams of like me freaking out over spoon placement. Like everything has to be just so. Each spoon's, you have more than one spoon. I'm, I've got two spoons, mate. I'm living the bougie life. I have my, I have my good spoon, like my only spoon. I have my spoon. <laughs> is this your cozy game, it's the my, one spoon? Yeah, for cereal and soup. <laughs> oh man, you gotta get more. We gotta get you more. The spoons, worst is dude. when I lost it. Then I had to just drink from the bowl, which Slip is it. really a, a spoon without a handle. Oh, you know what you need then? I feel like you need some cozy games. I do need to some forget co about well, then, this. How about you recommend some cozy games? For oh, me I've got you covered, mate. I've got mm. you covered to forget about the one good spoon. Mm -hmm. So obviously, big one: Stardew Valley, Animal Crossing. If you want to see Isabel, who is also a bell, as Isabel, we just Isabel. Found out. 
Abzu for that like under the sea exploration without the horrors of Subnautica. Two of my big favorites right now because they're the perfect blend. I think you'd like it. There is a bit of like actual combat in there, oh. but it's mostly a calming, like cozy experience is um, My Time at Sandrock and My Time at Porsche. Two great uh, indie farming sim games. Are they like sequel? One's a sequel to the other? Sort of. It's like the same universe, right. but different towns. Oh. And it's great. It's got that perfect blend of like, you have set goals and tasks to complete, but mm. they're in this really cozy kind of environment where you know the sun's always shining there's people to meet people to talk to people to Cre fight Pe well demons to fight I guess creepy little creepy little dudes that live in caves I love it yeah 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 you know, I don't want to say turn your brain off because mm. that's not true that's not what cozy games do no. but they activate a different part of your brain I feel that takes you out of the world you're currently in so like I can be my cool little warrior mage herbalist who mm. lives in a funky little cottage in the middle of nowhere with a cat that possibly talks like that's cool to me it's because video games, if anything, are the perfect form of escapism. 100%. A good way to get out of the mundane. And in like today's world, which is so stressful, yeah. I feel like it's more important than ever that we have these like cozy outlets for our frustrations, our fears, our anxieties, and just have a good time. That sounds awesome. I like, check them out. No, definitely. They're really, really fun. Uh, they're still in, both are still in development, mm. but uh, watching the process over the last couple of years has been an absolute delight. And supporting indie games, supporting Aussie games as well, mm -hmm. unpacking sounds like a fun thing. I'm going to have to find some spoons, some extra spoons so I can relate a bit more. Dude, I will buy you. Do you need spoons? I will got, buy you, you spoons. You know what? I've got these. I found what these are we? ones. <laughs> Um, these ones. Oh no! Sure, Actually, the issue is it's very environmentally friendly. However, it's made of cardboard. So, and I'm a slow soup eater. Like Just I tried, dissolving. I do a stir, and a de and then by the time I take a bite, I'm eating the spoon. No word of a lie. Um, I had the plastic versions of those, but I needed forks, so I just started cutting little prongs into the spoon. What is wrong like, with you? Did did. I didn't want to go steal a metal Why one. Cutlery. It's a the DIY hack. Now it's time for my favourite segment where we share news too small to elaborate on but too big to ignore, it's barely news! Funko Pops are making a video game, it's called Funko Fusion! Barely news, more happy barely news. This is a whale though. Cult of the Lamb won the Game of the Year at the Gaming Awards, beating Elden Ring and God of War. That's... Barely news in whale. In whale. In whale. Not whales. Uh, Hidetako Miyazaki was included in Time 100's most influential people of 2023. It's a pretty big deal because he's the only other video game director besides Shigeru Miyamoto. You know who he was the guy that made Mario. It's -a me. Barely news. <laughs> I'm swimming. <laughs> Whales do freestyle, I guess. <laughs> there are no Pokemon cards left in Japan. The Pokemon company made an official statement on the Japanese website apologizing that they're just none in stock. That's barely news. <laughs> That's barely news. <laughs> barely news. Oh, la, 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 la. Would you believe that we also have barely an idea whenever we make this <laughs> every week? Can you tell? Can you please suggest something else? <laughs> like, we're, we're running out of ideas for these. We're drowning out here. Tell me about, talk about drowning, I'm drowning in this. Oh my god, I've just found out that there's armholes. There's oh. been handholes this entire time. Nah, it's put them back. It's funny with it. It is funny with yeah. it. That's the loot drop. Coming out this week is Monster Tribe on PC. Witch of Fern Island on PC. Redfall on PC and Xbox. Ravenlock on Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One and PC. And Hogwarts Legacy on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Make sure you tune into our stream tomorrow at 6pm because we're going to have a little friend. A very special guest named 123 Hex. Hex! It'll be Get sick. It. Remember, we stream twice a week. We've got another one on Thursday where that's like playing games mm -hmm. and I really want to see you there. We had a great time last time. You played Valorant mm -hmm. and I played some scary games before. And next week, who knows what's going to happen? Who knows? But for now, I'm going to go eat some soup. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> That's not my problem. That sounds like Harry's problem. Spoon mail. Oh, he's back with the spoons.